See, in Christ we get a new beginning, we get a new start, we get a new life. And this is the work of God in us the moment we're saved. And now you may not feel holy today, but that's your old flesh. Your old flesh does not understand or able to comprehend the things of God. It's a reason we have to die, because this flesh has to go. It has to be buried. There has to be a new body created. This is the work of God in us, that we are holy. And as I said, you might not feel holy, but God has declared you holy. That's the doctrine of sanctification. And the Bible says, every day, each and every day, there's new mercy. There's new forgiveness. A clean sheet every day, church. Why? Because he has declared you holy. And John says in Revelation 20, And if anyone's name was not found written in the book of life, he was thrown into the lake of fire. The Bible teaches us that this is the destiny of the wicked, the Bible calls them, the unholy, those who reject Christ, the unsaved. But those who are saved, the scriptures teach, are accepted by God. There's the key word, accepted by God and Christ. Things were set apart, were declared holy and accepted before God. And those who are sanctified will see him and dwell with him in this new heaven and new earth. And if you're not saved today, I want to just say this, that a new beginning is available for you. It's the good news of the gospel. All you need to do is look to Christ and let him deal with your sin. Let him deal with it. If you ask him, the Bible says that he will save you. And your name indeed will be written in this heavenly book. Who can be sanctified? Who can be declared holy and set free from the burden of their sin? It's open to everyone. Every one of us this morning. Every one of our family members, those in our towns. It's open to everyone. Those who die in their sin, the scriptures say, will perish. And those who die in Christ, the scriptures tell us, will have eternal life. But it's all the work of God in our life.